In the past, I do have, in the past position, the Five of Wands, which indicates conflict. This is conflict between you and a loved one, somebody that is very, very dear in your life, that um, you've kept in your life despite you know, the differences in opinion between you and that person. So no matter what, it's like the person fighting against a tree. So different species, they're never going to see eye to eye. There's a great deal of love, but at the same time, you just can't, you're not compatible and you just can't make things work between you and the other person. I do sense for a lot of you, um, the other person is definitely holding their tongue. There are a lot of things that they can say that's hurtful, but they refrain from doing so because um, I do feel a lot of them are trying to um, at least not hurt you. But I do feel like a lot more hurtful things were said from your end, okay? So I do sense that coming through for a lot of you. And there is a little bit of regret in your current predicament because of all those things that were said. The other person is like, I don't feel they're in the picture anymore for a lot of you. They're not in the picture anymore. And, you know, because of it, they've walked out. They were hurt. They walked out. And um, you might feel very, very alone at this present moment without them in your life. Okay. So there are definitely um, obstacles here to your plans. So let's see what the future has for you here. I'm going to just wait for one card to fall out. Okay, two. So what's coming in here is the Page of Wands. You are feeling a little bit destabilized. Okay, so um, I do feel two characters, two signs that you are potentially dealing with. Okay, so for a lot of you, for a lot of you, I do feel um, I have the Seven of Cups here, and I do have the Devil, which indicates to me that um, you're not seeing things, you're not seeing the reality of the situation, okay? So Sagittarius, um, you are showing up here as the Page of Wands in the reverse position, which is, there are a lot of cards that can be a little bit problematic, okay? So I don't feel I am biased in saying this, but um, you're in the reverse position. The way you're thinking, the, the things that you're seeing are also in the reverse position. So you're not seeing the true picture and you're not seeing your, how your behavior, how you, um, how your behavior um, affected the situation, how your behavior is kind of inappropriate. And because of it, the other person is no longer in the picture with you, okay? So a lot of you, there might have been a falling out between love partners. There might be falling out, have been falling out between, um, there might have been falling out between you and a family member. And I do feel a family element is strongly indicated here because the tower indicates a physical structure, possibly a home situation, okay? A lot of you might be involved with an air sign, a Gemini uh, Aquarius Libra, or a water sign um, of Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? So let's look look at this situation with the, the air sign. I do feel the air sign is showing up here in the upright position. So this is the person with the voice of reason, okay? The Queen of Swords is a woman of few words. I do feel there are merit or there 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 is there there are merits to the things that she's saying because um she is a seeker of truth and she doesn't care if the truth hurts the truth needs to be said so whatever it is that she's telling you she or he is telling you i do feel that it's something that you need to take with a grain of salt but maybe there's some truth in it so this is something that you're you have to reflect upon okay i do feel as well that um she is calling you to re-examine some of your past behaviors the page of wands is you it's um you know pages pages are very very young very new they're very inexperienced and in the reverse position this is somebody who is um all about them it's somebody who is like um who is sort of like me 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 oriented okay so they tread through life very lightly they don't really understand their impact on other people and they don't really understand like motives. They don't really understand things on a deep, profound level. They don't know how um, 
if you're looking at a Sagittarius, a typical Sagittarius, let me tr just try to think like what would be like a major fault. So I'm getting here that um, for a lot of Sagittarius, it's, so, it's sort of like seeing the big picture and not seeing the details. Okay, so the person that you're dealing with might see the details and they might tell you, you know, um, they might tell you all the things that you you have done wrong in the past and they might narrow down the exact details and you're kind of for, forgetful so you feel as if they're attacking you that you know these things didn't actually happen that they're making up these stories in order to make you feel bad but it, it's like there are actually things from the past that you might have to um that you might have to return to, okay? And it's funny because um, I just did the reading for Scorpio and Scorpio is dealing with a similar energy in which the past is catching up and the past needed to be re-examined. And I'm doing this now for you and I do feel that past actions from your end were not uh, fully like, um, were not fully understood, okay? So it's sort of like you're bouncing around through life and you're treading very, very lightly, and you don't know how you affect other people. You don't understand the consequences of something that you did, and you feel like it's completely harmless, but it's actually having a very, very profound impact on somebody else. And the things you say, you a lot of you are very, very blunt. A lot of you, you know, you don't really beat around the bush. You don't really sugarcoat things. So you might have rubbed somebody the wrong way with, you know, the, the force and the strength of your honesty. So it's just, um, this is, this is not something that you're aware of. You're not doing it to, you know, purposely hurt them or to cut them down. But I do sense that, um, they're very, very sensitive people. So this person is, um, in your midst as a family member as somebody that you're close to, as like a, a very close friend, confidant, and they're telling you these things, you know, like, I love you to death, but here are, but you're a little bit sloppy, for example, or you're a little bit like uh, careless, or you're not as mindful of other people's feelings, okay? So they're, they're telling you these things, and it's somebody that you trust a great deal. And I do feel as a result of hearing this, you just can't believe it because you're you're kind of uh, it's something that came out of the left field. You didn't see it coming, so now you're questioning whether or not they're truthful. I would urge you to you know just take it with a grain of salt. I do feel they are truthful, and it is going to allow an opportunity for you to reflect back on your past actions and maybe see that there is some validity to what it is that they're saying. Okay, because I do sense that. Um, in the conflict in the past, you were a little bit harsh with the other person. So now you're kind of like, um, and I, I do feel like intuitively you knew you were, like you, you know that um, you hurt the other person, okay? And the other person is like not in your life anymore. So I do sense that um, a lot of you are like recoiling from the... Um, the sorrow from the regret, but you're not outrightly, you know, accepting of it. You're kind of like suppressing the regret and the doubt, the self-doubt, because you want to just um, live life very lightly. You don't want to feel bad about the situation. So you're not processing your feelings. You're not taking the time to do it. I also feel if you're expecting communication from the person that, you know, you've had the conflict with in the past, communication is not coming. Okay, so this is long story short. This is a, something that you have to, this is like a one of the karm, karmic lessons that you're going to have to, to experience. Because, you know, we have a lot of retrograde planets happening around this time, which indicates to me in general, this is a, a prime time for karmic lessons. A lot of you, I've, I did this for the Virgo reading, a lot of you have immense, immense karma with a Virgo. We do have the Hermit card in the reverse position showing up here as the crowning energy. It's the card of Virgo. It's the card of somebody who is um, who lives alone, so they have like enough time to introspect. 
Whereas as a, as a fire sign, you're a little bit more scattered. So you don't really, you know, take adequate time to slow yourself down and to really process your feelings. Okay. So if there is a recent, you know, argument dispute and you're hoping for communication from the other person, I do feel here that they have pretty much turned cold and they've blocked you out. Okay. So for the next two weeks, you are going to have to be the one to, you know, say the apology. And I know it's not something that you want to do because, you know, fire signs are very, very proud and fierce. So be the bigger person here. And I do feel in order to restore your situation, you're going to have to take the initiative to invite them back into your life because they've turned cold, they block you out. And um, the tower is not something that is easy to recover from okay so it might have been one of those situations where you you walked away scotch free i guess you you you've walked away cleanly but they had to deal with the uh, ramifications they had to deal with the aftermath and they had to rebuild their self-esteem they've had to pick up the pieces and moved on and they've moved on without you so if you want them back in your life, you're going to have to reach out to where they are because they're in a different place at this present moment, okay? Um, as for the advice here, we do have the King of Cups in the reverse position. So once again, whoever it is that you're interacting with, they've turned very, very cold. And, um, you know, in the reverse position here, it indicates to me... A King of Cups is a very, very loving, very um, beautiful energy. This is somebody who wants the best for people, who's very generous, who's very well liked, well received. In the reverse position, this is, um, I'm not going to read this as a water sign. I just feel that this is an energy that can potentially come in from you because it's in the advice and you're also showing up in the reverse so I have no other way to read this but I do feel that this is like um, withholding like feeling very very proud and withholding affection okay so if you for a lot of you for a lot of you if you are arguing with somebody okay and even if you were involved with like an, a water sign you feel that the other person is emotionally manipulative because they don't fight fair. When they're upset, they would hold affection. And uh, when they're no longer upset, you they make you feel like, they, they treat you like a king or a princess, and they make you feel like they're you're on top of the world. However, when they're mad at you, they would hold affection, they uh, give you the silent treatment, and it's just a very like toxic, a very uncomfortable feeling uh, in your environment. When you're, they're upset, you feel very destabilized because you want the love and the affection and they're giving you the silent treatment. So, you know, they are emotionally manipulative. If you're in that type of situation, you know, once and for all, leave it because I do feel this is a recurring pattern. And, um, you know, I do sense that a lot of you I do feel on the emotional front, you might be adrenaline junkies, okay? So it's not that, you know, you, you jump off skyscrapers or you go, you know, bungee jumping in the middle of the night or, you know, worse, I, I don't know. Um, but I do feel on the emotional front, the highs and lows with this person is keeping you in a toxic environment, okay? So it's like when times are good, the other person makes you feel like, you're on top of the world when times are bad they make you feel as if you know you're down in the dumps mainly because they are withholding affection and they make you doubt yourself they make you feel as if you're you're doubting your self-worth you're doubting your lovability okay so a lot of you have been stuck in this type of a of a relationship for quite some time i do feel all these retrograde planets are com bringing this to um to light so that you can re-examine your role in it and whether or not you want to stay in it a lot of you have a um kind of like what would you call this woman it's sort of like the voice of reason in your life okay this is a woman or a male 
the air sign, whoever it is, the air sign is helping you process, you know, the your history with this person. They're trying to help you process your feelings, but you're not listening to advice. You're not listening to legal or good counsel here. So you're kind of like treading through life and, and you know, very nonchalantly, and you're not really looking at the depth and the the depth of the the problem at hand and you're so like um mired in the you know questioning your own self-worth in your multiple interactions with this person that you doubt your ability to you're you, you're doubting your love ability and you're kind of like thinking to yourself oh this situation is not that bad when in fact it is very very toxic the other person is emotionally manipulating you and it doesn't lead to a good place okay so this is a, a cycle that needs to be broken so find a way to end this conflict once and for all listen to whoever it is um, that is giving you the outsider's perspective because I do feel they know you quite well they're very unbiased okay queen of swords are very very unbiased people when they are they're in the upright um, a lot of people say there's jealousy and things like that, but I do sense that um, this is the voice of reason. If it's kind of like the page or even the knight, I do feel it's like premature premature type of judgment. The queen is actually, she's trying to forge a new path for you. And she's trying to do it in a way, or she's trying to convince you the merit of this new path by telling you, you know, what she sees. So she's very objective. And it's really important for you to at least listen to her counsel because she's trying to help you okay so when you're in dealing with like um, somebody who's very emotionally manipulative it is really important for you to identify uh, the traits of a codependent and possibly like even toxic uh, emotional bond that you have with the other person so you can get away from it okay um, I do sense your hopes and fears here is um, you don't feel that you're going to be successful you you are at this point a lot of you are doubting your self-worth, are doubting your uh, lovability. So already you know the, that those are the symptoms of, you know, being in a toxic relationship for so long, being in a verbally, even emotionally abusive type of relationship, and the other person has you doubting your own sense of self-worth, okay? So extract yourself from it because I do feel that um, the conflict that might have happened in the past might have been even, you know, it might have escalated. It might have gone beyond verbal disputes to like physical, you know, uh, conflict. Okay, like um, it could even be like domestic abuse for those of you who are dealing with somebody who's very, very emotionally manipulative. Because I do feel the tower situation is like a... a a rude awakening. This is something that you're very unprepared for and you felt very much like alone and not knowing where to turn in this regards. Okay, so it's really important for you to figure out what it is that um, you're getting out of the relationship, you know, and figure out if the other person is the right one for you. Okay, if they've been like doing this in the past, it is really important for you to break the cycle, break the bond, extract yourself from this situation because I don't sense it's going to end well for you. So the message that I'm getting here is very similar to Scorpio, but Scorpio is very like center about on who's right and who's wrong. The relationship is built on a lot of love, whereas in this situation, I don't sense love. I sense manipulation. I sense control issues. I sense like conflict. So it's a very different energy because we have the devil. We have a lot of sword characters. We have a lot of people who, who are like, uh, who have frozen over. Okay. We also have a lot of, um, we have solitary cards indicating, you know, great egos at work here. So the outcome here is uh, the nine of wands in the reverse position. If it's if it were upright, this is a situation where you are walking away. OK, you've like um, you've I guess um, you've endured a lot of emotional, physical pains and scars 
And at this point, you are realizing that, you know, you're worth more. So you're walking away and you're not looking back. And you are going to go ahead and try to find somebody who's worthy of you. In the reverse position, it indicates to me a lot of obstacles in your way, mainly because you haven't restored your sense of self-worth. Okay, you, you're not seeing the true value that you... Um, you're not seeing your true value. You're not seeing your self-worth and you're not able to see that this is toxic for you. So that rude awakening, even though it happened in the past or even though it's going to happen for the next two weeks, at the end of it, you're still mired in doubt and you're not able to walk away and ex extract yourself from this situation. At the same time, this is a relationship that was like, it was headed towards an, an inevitable end. I don't feel there's love left in this relationship, okay? So your choices, more than anything, are dwindling. You know that, you know that at least, there are other people around you that love you, okay? The air sign, possibly the, the Virgo, there's still karma here, okay? So you know there are people that you can come to or that you have a place to go to who will help you, but you're not able to do it mainly because you're afraid. So you're very, very afraid because you've been in a situation where the other person didn't show you a lot of love and appreciation and over time it corroded your self-esteem. So at this point you don't feel that you know anyone loves you you feel very cast out in the cold you feel very afraid to end the relationship because you've been in the relationship for so long and you don't know what it's like to have to do things on your own so you you're very very afraid my advice here and I'm very sorry Sagittarius that this is such a negative reading but I do feel that you have help here you have people that will give you you know a sanction sanctuary and um, safety okay and they're also giving you good advice so heed whatever it is that um, that they're saying heed the advice heed their counsel and I do sense that you have a lot of options a lot more than you you give yourself credit for so even though options are limited I do feel that you have options and it would be in your best interest to get yourself remove yourself from this toxic environment and do better for yourself because you're worth a lot more and you have to take the initiative in order to um, take that first step out of the relationship okay so I know this is not going to apply to everyone of course if you are in a relationship where whoever it is is very emotionally you know manipulative they they uh, withhold affection and they're hot and cold constantly and they undermine you. They undermine your self-worth and your lovability. This is a wake-up call and I do feel that um, you're going to have to leave this situation by the end of this month, okay? Unfortunately, you're going to have to leave this situation by the end of this month because I do feel the round of karma is this. You leave by the end of this month and then Mercury in retrograde happens and you're going to be tested because they're going to contact you nonstop. You're going to be tested whether or not you want to stay in this relationship. So you're going to go through through about like a whole month where the universe is testing you, testing you. And once you get through that whole month, without relapsing you know it's like a drug it's like a drug it's like the emotional manipulation is like that that highs and lows and you know you're drawn to it like a drug so the universe is putting this test for you for the next month during that mercury retrograde period to see whether or not you can survive on your own to see whether or not you can um, let go of the toxicity because you're addicted to it like a drug. So once you're able to walk out by the end of this month, once you're able to overcome that whole intense Mercury in retrograde period and you don't waver in your resolve, I feel that, you know, that's this Saturn transit um, is going to serve you well. So you've learned the lesson, okay? So I'm very sorry, Sagittarius. I do hope that um, you find light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Um, return to old family members, reach out to people that you might have had like falling out with because um, they're not going to reach out to you. I feel that a lot of you might have burned some bridges in the past 
and it's important for you to reconcile. They're kind of like um, a lot of the people you've burned bridges with. They're not going to reach out to you, but I do feel they are going to be receptive when you reach out to them. Because a Queen of Swords is usually, you know, she extends one hand. She's still very guarded, but she's still caring enough where she can help you and still be detached, okay? So you might have to reach out to some people from your past. Um, if you need help, if you need, you know, comfort, support, and things like that, they're going to be receptive, but you have to reach out, okay? So this is a week in which you have to exercise your free will here, okay? So don't be locked up in your thoughts where you're telling yourself, you know, I'm not worth it, I'm not worthy of this, I'm not lovable. It's, um, that's the mind game that, you know, is, is, is keeping you stuck in one place. So it's really important to exercise your free will and, um, you know, be your confident, happy, realistic self, because that's what's going to be required to get you through this very difficult period, okay? So for those of you who this is applying to, um, to, who this resonates with, I do wish you the very best, and I do wish you fortify strength to get out of toxic relationships and to leave pe toxic people out of your life for good, okay? So please take care of yourself, Sagittarius, and I wish you the best.